Welcome to part three of our Spring Clean Your Finances series. We spring clean our homes to get rid of the dust and mustiness of winter and we should do the same thing with our finances. It just makes sense to freshen things up and make sure everything is working as it should be. Hello, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. If you like to shop, you will know that from the moment you set foot in the shopping centre car park or set wheel in the shopping centre car park, you are being tempted to spend, spend, spend. Actually, these days, you're probably being tempted before you leave home with emails and advertising for sales and special offers. And of course, there's the highway advertising. So just say no. No. It's usually the first real word babies learn. So if a baby can learn to say it, so can you. Marketing, marketing experts depend on our inability to say no. They're clever. They place the most expensive items at eye level in the most eye-catching displays. But we know the real bargains are on the top and the bottom shelves. So be a savvy shopper and say no to those expensive eye level buys and look high, look low for the real bargains. You'll be doing your bank balance a huge favour. When you are tempted to buy something spontaneously, it's not on your shopping list, that you don't really have the cash to pay for or that will put you over budget, first ask yourself whether or not it's a necessity. Most of the time it's not. Then remember the $100 24-hour rule. You all know what it is. If it costs more than $100, you have to wait 24 hours before buying it. But what if you find a really great deal on something? Too good to pass up. Again, ask yourself whether you really need that item. Is it possible that it could go back on sale at some other point in time? Do you really need it? Do you really want it? Do you have the cash to pay for it? Now, you know that most grocery items run through a sale cycle. So if an item's on sale at store A this week, you know it will most likely be on sale at store B next week. Now, if you still think it's too good a deal to pass up and you don't have the cash in your purse or wallet to pay for it, then maybe you could use your grocery slush fund or your mad money or perhaps you could um, go back to your spending plan and have a look at the categories and perhaps there's wriggle room in a category that you can use for this really great deal. If so, maybe you'll be able to afford it. But if none of those things are a yes, then really think hard before spending money on it. Remember, your spending plan isn't set in cement. It is a fluid and constantly changing document to help you stay on budget and help you live within your means. That's what it is supposed to do. You know what? It's okay to say no to people too. Now, most of us have friends or family members who love to spend, and that's great. But they don't understand how to live according to a spending plan. So for us cheapskaters, we need to plan ahead. You know, if shopping with them is too much of a temptation, invite them to visit you at home. If they like to eat out, then perhaps you can join them for coffee and dessert rather than a full meal or meet at lunchtime instead of dinner time, or morning tea instead of lunch. You don't need to be antisocial because you're living the cheapskates way. And there will be times that you won't be able to avoid spending money and that's okay. But there are also times when you can just say, no thanks, and relax, knowing knowing happily and confidently that your budget won't suffer. 
Now, you don't need to explain why you've said no. It's no one's business but yours. Just say no. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I read every comment and I do my best to answer every question. Before I go, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as a regular viewer. Then click the little bell next to it. You can choose how often you want to be notified of new videos that we put up. And don't forget to like. It's a simple click of the thumbs up and share by clicking the share button to help us spread the word that it's not only okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, but it is absolutely possible even in today's crazy world. I'll be back next week with part four of our, fan of our financial spring clean and I'll see you then.